Hi, Ryan Johnson from Sportsbeat here at Portland Memorial Coliseum with the Gladstone Dance Team. Uh, to my right is Amanda, Nikki, Ashton, and Coach Denise. Uh, Denise, let's start out with you. Um, what's it like to be here? Well, this is obviously the favorite um, time of the season. It's, it's when everything comes together, the routines that we've been working on. Um, We've been practicing for months and months, and this is where we get to show the final product. And so to come here every year is always exhilarating and uh, full of uh, nerves and intensity, but so exciting all in the same. Is, is this performance more emotional than the ones in the past? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you guys always get this dressed up for your performances? Why don't you take that one? Um, yeah, a lot. Like, <laughs> it always requires a ton of hair and makeup, and it's what we do. <laughs> what time today did you start getting ready for this performance? I think we started getting ready at about noonish. Noon. Noonish. Yeah. About a four-hour process. Four-hour yeah. process. <laughs> well, we do have 28 or 27 members on our team, uh -huh. uh, so to get everyone to match as close as possible takes uh, pretty good attention to detail. Who's, who's in charge of that process? Is, do you guys have a makeup person? Or is it all of you doing each other's well, makeup? Well, um, so I determine the hair, the makeup, the costume, myself and Lisa, um, who's my assistant. And then what, what we get, we have room helpers. Um, each team receives eight to 10 passes, depending on the size of the team. And so those room helpers are moms or aunts or sister-in-law. Um, and they, I kind of assign them duties and they, it's kind of like an assembly line. Like you've got lipstick, yeah. you've got eyeshadow, yeah. you've got, uh, yeah. help me out. And Love. sort of where their talents <laughs> lie. Yeah, we've got one mom that's great at braids. So she yeah. did, or two moms did all the braids and I did eyelashes and Nikki did eyelashes too. <laughs> Nikki, what's your favorite part about the costume? I'd have to say the dresses. They're really pretty and flowy when you're turning, and they just look really great on the floor. Yeah, have you guys been performers your whole life? I mean, our whole dance team career. So we've either, they've been on the team for four years, I've been for three. A lot of us did studio beforehand, but definitely we've all got the experience from the fall category also, so mm -hmm. yeah. And what do you like about this perform your guys' performance? I like that it's the end, you know, it's, it's, it's bittersweet because we work so hard for this, but at the same time, you know, um, we're leaving soon and this is the last moment as our team and stuff, and it's a really happy but sad, great feeling, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Is it kind of like, the season's <laughs> over, we're done now, or is it kind of sad? Not this year. We've had such a good year. We're all, like, we're, we're sad about it for sure, but we're so glad to be here and doing as well as we are, so. What are, the, what are the plans for the spring then, Denise? So in the spring, um, we host our end of season banquet and then we start gearing up for auditions for next year's team. And the reason we do them so early is because we attend camp camps in the summertime and our season begins in August. So we really only have a, you know eight week period where we're off, so to speak. Are, is there a ju is there like a junior dance team with some no. with some new members that are going to be filling I the spots of these wish. seniors here? I wish there was a feeder program, but there's <laughs> not. Okay, uh, do you guys have plans to do dancing after you uh, finish high school or finish on this dance team? Um, I kind of hope to take classes, but I'm not exactly sure yet. But I really really would like to continue dance because it's been a part of my life for four years. So. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Nikki? I'll probably do studio again. I used to dance studio before dance team, so I'll probably go back to the studio I dance for and take some classes. Right on. What about you, Amanda? You probably probably going to be doing classes too, and obviously a Guadet fan. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so have you received your score yet from tonight? No, we won't get them until everyone has performed, and then at the end, uh, the coaches go to the personnel room and we'll, we'll all... You don't have to pick up your scores, so <laughs> only those of us that are interested in seeing, because sometimes people just don't want to know until tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, because it can, it might affect the oh. dynamic, the, the vibe. You uh -huh. know, if it doesn't go in your favor, what does that mean for all of tomorrow? Are you going to check your score? We are. Are you going to share it with the girls? I am. 
We Are you guys about nervous? It. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we decided as a team that we were going to do that. You wanted to do it. Um, yeah. Okay. And we're prepared for it to go both ways, and we're prepared to handle um, either scenario with class and dignity, and so we're we're prepared for mm. either either way. Good for you. I'm excited for you guys. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. And good luck tomorrow. All right. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank Ryan you. Johnson, Portland Sports Beat.